Luzon Zeno. There we go. It's episode 13 of Shadow of the Colossus. Um, and I'm going to be going to fight this big thing. And I, when I say big, I mean very big. This is, um, this Colossus is, as far as I can tell, I believe it is the absolute biggest Colossus in the game. Um, which, you know, is obviously worth noting. I guess I should also note that, you know, the game is obviously deciding to sort of introduce a maybe a new character now um, a gentleman wearing this funny mask who seems to be heading in our direction um, uh, I won't really talk much about him because you know they're I don't know like I feel like this game kind of explains itself fairly well without need for um, a bunch of explanations uh, but the character in question that uh, fellow with the mask uh, his name is Lord Amon um, and uh, we'll 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 learn more about him, or at the very least, get more out of him um, as the game progresses. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of running out of things to talk about with this game. I think I've covered quite a bit of the topics I've I've wanted to cover, um, and kind of you know, discussed what I felt was worth talking about. Um, but I guess I can kind of talk about. Oh, come on, Agro. Where are we going? I guess I can kind of talk about the Colossus of this episode. Um, now I believe this is a dead end. But not quite. There's fruit here. Okay. So the Colossus of this episode is kind of... Um, kind of like Avion. Um, in that it's not really... Uh, it, it's, not, it's, it's not really aggressive at all. Um... It's uh, it's very much um, passive. It's it, it it barely pays any attention to wander when you uh, arrive at it, and even after you've engaged with it, it still really doesn't uh, pay it pay much attention to you. Um, I don't know. I know this one tends to be a lot of people's favorites, uh, if only because of just the sheer scale of the fight. Um, I think. Of the fights in the game, I believe it's the one that is most indicative of this idea of, you know, the scale of things. You know, Wander versus the size of these colossi and um, the, the well, just the relative size of the Forbidden Land. Uh, it's not necessarily one of my favorites, so I think it's neat, um, but it's also kind of... I don't want to say simple, because that's not really the word I'm looking for. It's just, it's really laid back. There's there's not, like, there's not a whole lot of room for huge mistakes or anything like that. It, it's it's more about just sort of the initial experience. It's Arguably, it's one of the colossi, I would argue, that it's it's best when, when enjoyed for the first time. Um, after you've done it a few times, it, it kind of loses its luster. Which incidentally, I can almost say that about anything in this game because that's kind of the that's kind of the trick, I guess, of sorts, is that 
This is like one of the few games I can think of that I really wish I could uh, play it the first time again, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, because I remember my first playthrough of this back in 2005, and I, it was just every every Colossus was kind of a learning experience, and I had to figure out, you know, what was the best way, best method of, of dealing with them. I mean, it was a very unique first-time experience. And that's not to say playing it again isn't a isn't a good experience. It's been great. I've been thoroughly enjoying this playthrough, but um, this is one of those games that I feel is more effective on a first playthrough um, than in uh, uh, you know repeated playthroughs. Whoops! No, 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 no! I'm not going this way either. There's actually a path we can take in this little forest yeah. area. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But uh, we are heading for the desert, um, which uh, which I've gone through uh, before, kind of. Um, I went through it initially to uh, get a hold of um, uh, Barba, whose temple was located in the desert. Um, and now uh, I'm going back to the desert uh, because that is where our next Colossus is located. As Dorman kindly let us know. Um. I guess I could kind of talk about... I guess I could at least explain the name of the uh, Colossus in general. This uh, this one is going to be called uh, Phalanx. That's the unofficial name anyways. Um, the uh, developers, they referred to it as the Snake, which is fitting, I think. Um... A, definitely a fitting name for it uh, but as you'll see it doesn't really it doesn't really function like a snake it'll look it looks sort of like a snake but it's not it doesn't really do things like a snake kind of like how dirge is technically kind of a snake but yeah. not not really the kind of snake you imagine or, or expect and this one is kind of the same thing I guess it, in general it's just a it's just a large serpent but again, when I say large, I mean, I mean large. It is very big. It is a very, very big colossus. Um, and again, I believe it is the biggest one in the game as far as, uh, as far as sheer size. And also, yes, I understand that I'm kind of like seemingly lost, and that is because I am in fact a little lost here. I think I can actually cut through that marsh area over here and get to where I need to go, probably. Uh, also, too, this is going to be yet another Colossus fight that um, requires aggro. Uh, this time, though, aggro is not going to be just a means of dodging projectiles. Aggro is actually going to be playing a very active role uh, throughout this fight, which is neat. Um, I think that alone is probably why a lot of people particularly like this fight. Um, you know, not just because of its... Not just because of the, the size and the... The, um, the spectacle of it, but the... You know, the fact that aggro does serve a very distinct and valuable purpose in this fight. Oh, hey, I think there's some more fruit up here. Hello. All about that fruit. Um, one. Pretty sure there's more than that, though. Her. Grab it. Really? There we go. Is there any more? I don't see any more. Yeah, 
Incidentally, I would just climb up that tree and have a look, but I, um, while I was getting ready to start this playthrough, I, I did a few, um, a few simple audio tests and stuff to make sure everything was going to work okay, and, uh, I found out that, um, and I certainly was not purposely trying to do this, this is just something that ended up happening, um, I found out that those trees that you can climb, and there are several of them throughout the game, uh, they're kind of, they're kind of scary, uh, because, uh, Wander can get stuck on the branches, and, and, and you can essentially softlock the game because Wander cannot get out of the tree. Um, it's funny, it, it, I, 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 I kind of belted out a laugh when, when it happened to me the first time, but, uh, I would rather that not happen again. You know, for obvious reasons. I believe we're on the right track here now, though. Yep, this is the desert. Here we go. We made it. Love how even the color shifts here. Um, speaking of the color and stuff, I guess I could kind of mention that. Uh, so the game... At release, um, it... it it some some individuals and I think rightly so um, took a little bit of issue with uh, Blue Point's um, creative liberties with regards to the look of the game. Um, you know, uh, design-wise, everything is fine. You know, the addition they didn't really make additions as much as they just expanded upon what was already there, made everything look better. But they kind of changed yeah. the uh, the color of the game considerably. Um, so, like, the, the default settings of the game, everything looks really lush and green, and and it's it's a, it's a little off-putting. Um, and, yeah, there are areas that are supposed to look like that, but the whole game is not supposed to look like that. Uh, so, um, thankfully, Bluepoint was smart enough to allow uh, players to kind of customize the look of the game, utilizing different filters um, and just different... Uh, uh, different, you know, contrast ratios and things like that is very helpful. Um, and so what I did back when I first received this game, when, back when I first got this game, um, I, I went and kind of modified the look of the game to try and get it to look as close to the original as possible. Um, also, here's Phalanx. Goodness, look at that damn thing. It's ridiculous. Now, of course, you may be wondering what on earth do you do to get up on here? And um, admittedly, I remember this fight the first time I played it. I don't remember really having trouble figuring out the trick with this one. Um, as uh, Phalanx very clearly uh, has very large, um, like air sacs on its bot on the bottom of its body, and so you obviously would want to, you know, focus in on them and target those. Um, matter of fact, they look very similar to um, the gecko's legs. Um, kind of a similar visual uh, approach. But as you can see, Phalanx is not really active to harm Wander at all. Uh -oh. Ah, that's one. Now comes the neat part. So we've got all three of the air sacs taken out.
Now, let's hope I can actually get this on my first attempt. I think I can, but it can admittedly be a little tricky. Ah, not quite. I was angled wrong. Aggro, get over here. So yeah, you have to take aggro and you have to you have to run her alongside this thing. Come on, let's go. And uh, you have to you have to be a little acrobatic and you have to jump off of aggro onto its wings. It's not the hardest thing ever, but it's a, it's a little it's a little tricky because this is a large moving creature. So you have to you have to take that into account as well that it's always moving while you're trying to do this. And of course, aggro does get a little iffy when you get too close to it as well. There we go. Whoa, why isn't he grabbing on? Holy crap. Okay. This thing is not very happy that uh, Wander got onto it. So of course there is a, uh, you know, there are magic sigils all over this thing. This is like one of the few that have just three to start out with. Um, I forget what the other one was that did. Um, Avion also had uh, three. This thing does quite a bit of stuff to try and get you off of it. Um, there's a barrel roll. Um, eventually, it's also going to, um, at least it should by design, at some point it's going to try and dig into the ground. Uh-oh. It may be about to do that now, in fact. Oh yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Well, that's one magic sigil down, so we got two more to deal with. bow back out. I will say I do love this environment. I think it's a really cool uh, thing to have this fight in, in a desert um, where, you know, the view is kind of obfuscated. You, you, you can see a lot of times the, the, the Colossus itself will be in in a uh, it's still it will be silhouetted against like say the 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 super bright sun I, think I got it yeah got one of them yeah, the best approach really for the air sacs um, is if you can kind of get you can kind of get to the front of Phalanx and then just kind of, yeah, just sort of ride along the bottom from its front to its back. You can you can very easily uh, take out the uh, air sacs without issue. All right, let's try this again. Okay, now I'm like a regular expert on with that, I guess. Go figure. All right. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. All 
This thing makes some very weird noises too. Uh, very high pitched squeals. So, again, it's a, it's a very different sort of Colossus from the rest. Like it, it clearly has a very different sort of uh, aesthetic going on with it. But it is neat. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It's so hard to keep up with which dorsal fins are which at this point. Like, I mean, just look at how big this damn thing is. It's ridiculous. Uh, from what I understand, it's basically the width. Its width is like that of a four-lane highway, so... Yeah, do with that what you will. I might as well just hop off. Whoa. Oh, aggro, no! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Alright, aggro. Sorry about that. Gee whiz. That was not what I meant to do. Alright, so... I guess I'm going for the rear dorsal fin. That'll be the last one. Now, actually, there are methods of actually doing this fight where you can get it in just one cycle, where you where you get it down to the ground, hop on its wing, get up onto its back, and take out all three magic sigils uh, before it ever decides to um, go back underground. And also, too, there's apparently a trick uh, with uh, with the um, with with uh, phalanx going underground is that if you can position yourself correctly underneath one of its dorsal fins as they fold down before it goes under, uh, you can actually go underground with it. Um, I don't think you get anything special as far as like any sort of visual thing. It doesn't stay underground very long, but um, I guess like if you were trying to get through this as fast as possible, that'd be the way to do it. I'm not that good though, so. You'll have to forgive me for that. That should be it. Not quite. Alright, one more time. This should be it. Whoa, aggro, come on now. Don't fight me. Let's... Aggro's tired of this, obviously. It's She's not one to get anywhere near this thing anymore, and I really can't blame her. Again, though, I do like that aspect of the fight. I like I like having aggro be a more active role um, in 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 this Colossus fight. Um, you know, it kind of it does require you to kind of be pretty comfortable with the control scheme of the game and and comfortable with uh, you know controlling the camera while you're moving on aggro and trying to do some minor platforming. It, you know, it's. It's, it's pretty cool. It asks, it asks you to do a lot, and I like that. Just gotta get right down here. I believe this is the dorsal fin you can, you can hide under, I think. But that does not matter, because this Colossus is now defeated. This one I'm actually kind of sad about. I, I think this one is just too cool to be killed like that. Uh. Uh. There we 
there we go that's episode 13 only three more to go and that's the game so hopefully you've enjoyed it so far I hope you'll join me for the last three installments of Shadow of the Colossus and uh, yeah thanks for watching bye bye